agriculture looks very different from farm to farm, but there are many common threads. Farmers and ranchers manage complex systems to be profitable and productive, while also protecting natural resources. This video focuses on NRCS conservation practices commonly used in animal agriculture. The Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS, and the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, each have a role in encouraging farmers to use conservation practices. NRCS's role is to provide technical and financial assistance to farmers who voluntarily implement conservation practices. EPA's primary role is to ensure compliance with federal regulations, such as the Clean Water and Clean Air Acts. EPA also provides grant funds that are often used in concert with USDA program funding to accelerate voluntary conservation practice adoption. These funds can be used to demonstrate innovative practices, coordinate implementation efforts, or provide technical assistance and landowner outreach. State governments do, and local governments may, have additional regulations or guidelines beyond the Clean Water and Clean Air Acts. NRCS conservation practices can provide numerous environmental benefits and often help farmers meet environmental regulations at the same time. A variety of practices are available to farmers and ranchers. Some practices may be relatively easy to implement, while others may be more complex. This is because every farm is unique, every situation is distinct, and every solution is customized. The conservation practices selected need to reflect the values and priorities of the producer and the local resource concerns and landscape characteristics. While all producers do not implement the same conservation practices, there is one very obvious similarity among all animal operations, the need to carefully manage activities and sources such as manure, silage leachate, milk house wastes, chemicals, and animal mortalities to prevent nutrients and pathogens from negatively impacting natural resources. The main categories of conservation practices used on animal operations to protect natural resources include manure management, land and pasture management, and mortality or dead animal management. Many conservation practices aim to prevent manure from contacting clean water. For example, diversions, roofs, and gutters direct water around production areas. Systems to collect and store manure keep it contained until it is applied to fields, where nutrients can be recycled by growing crops. Manure storage allows farmers to avoid application at times when there is a high risk for nutrient losses, such as when soils are saturated, frozen, or snow-covered. Losses by runoff, leaching, and or volatilization can result in adverse effects on soil, water, and air quality. Manure treatment often addresses both air and water resources. Two of the most common treatment processes are composting and solid liquid separation. Treating manure can reduce its volume and moisture content. This adds value because it's more economical to transport to fields where nutrients are needed or to other uses off-site. For pastured animals, common conservation practices include prescribed grazing and access control. Prescribed grazing is managing the location of animals to maintain healthy vegetation, soils, and habitat. Farmers and ranchers can also use fences, stream crossings, or livestock watering systems to restrict livestock access to surface water while providing for their needs. For crop fields, nutrient management is an important conservation practice. It seeks to optimize the application of nutrients for crop production, including reducing excess nutrients, which are vulnerable to runoff or leaching. For animal feeding operations that receive technical and financial assistance from NRCS, nutrient management must be documented in a Comprehensive Nutrient Management Plan, or CNMP. A CNMP is an NRCS document that considers the entire farm system and includes collecting and storing manure, 
land application of manure nutrients, and using farm and field mapping to ensure manure is not over-applied or applied too close to wells, streams, or sinkholes. A CNMP aims to reduce soil erosion and potential water and air quality impacts of inappropriately applied nutrients. Other conservation practices implemented in crop fields focus on slowing down or trapping runoff at the edge of a field using buffers or filter strips. This way, soil or nutrients are captured before they reach a body of water. Windbreaks can be used around barns or lots to reduce odors. An inevitable reality for livestock and poultry farms is animal mortality. Farmers can use conservation practices to plan for both a small number of animal losses during normal production and for a large number of animal losses during a catastrophic event. Good mortality management protects natural resources by preventing the spread of pathogens or disease-causing microbes. Farms of all types and sizes can engage in conservation efforts. Farmers can protect natural resources while maintaining or improving production through a wide range of practices. If a farmer or rancher has a conservation need, there is probably a practice that can help fulfill it and assistance to help implement it.